of angles according to positions. Hello kids! In the previous class, we studied about the types of angles according to their measures. Today, let's look at the types of angles according to their positions. There are four types of angles under this category. They are adjacent angles, vertically opposite angles, complementary angles and supplementary angles. Let us learn more on each of them. Adjacent angles. Two angles are said to be adjacent when they have a common vertex, a common arm and lie on either sides of the common arm. Here, angle XYU and angle ZYU are adjacent angles as they have a common vertex Y, a common arm ray YU and lie on either sides of the common arm ray YU. Kids, remember, angle XYZ and angle XYU are not adjacent angles as they do not lie on either sides of the common arm XY. Now, let's solve an example. Find the adjacent angles in the given figure. The answer is angle APC and angle BPC are the adjacent angles in the given figure. Next is vertically opposite angles. When two straight lines meet at a point, they form four angles. The pairs of angles opposite to each other are called vertically opposite angles. A pair of vertically opposite angles is always equal in measure. Line LM and line NO meet at point P. Here, the two pairs of vertically opposite angles are angle LPN is equal to angle OPM which is equal to 50 degrees. Angle NPM is equal to angle LPO which is equal to 130 degrees. Now, let's solve an example. Find the missing angles B and Y using the property of vertically opposite angles. From the figure, angle A and angle B are vertically opposite angles. And angle A measures 110 degrees. Hence, angle B is also equal to 110 degrees. Angle X and angle Y is the other pair of vertically opposite angles. Hence, angle X is equal to angle Y is equal to 70 degrees. Coming to the complementary angles. When the sum of two angles is 90 degrees, each angle is said to be complementary to the other. The angles can be adjacent or even disjoint. Let's see how. Look at the figure 1. Here the angles are adjacent. It is given that angle A is equal to 45 degrees and angle B is equal to 45 degrees. Thus, on adding the measures of angle A and angle B, we get the sum as 90 degrees. Hence, we say angles A and B are complementary angles. Now, Look at the figure 2. Here the angles are disjoint. 
It is given that angle M is equal to 40 degrees and angle N is equal to 50 degrees. Thus, on adding the measures of angle M and angle N, we get the sum as 90 degrees. Hence, we say angles M and N are complementary angles. Kids, remember, to find the measure of a complementary angle, we use the formula complementary angle is equal to 90 degrees minus the given angle. Now, let's solve an example. Find the measure of a complementary angle X if the given angle is 63 degrees. Here, we shall use the formula complementary angle is equal to 90 degrees minus the given angle. 90 degrees minus 63 degrees is equal to 27 degrees. Therefore, angle X measures 27 degrees. Lastly, supplementary angles. When the sum of two angles is 180 degrees, they are said to be supplementary to each other. The angles can be adjacent or even disjoint. Let's see how. Look at the figure 1. Here the angles are adjacent. It is given that angle X is equal to 100 degrees and angle Y is equal to 80 degrees. On adding the measures of angle X and angle Y, we get the sum as 180 degrees. Hence, we say angles X and Y are supplementary angles. Now, look at the figure 2. Here the angles are disjoint. Here, angle M is equal to 60 degrees and angle N is equal to 120 degrees. On adding the measures of angle M and angle N, we get the sum as 180 degrees. Hence, we say angles M and N are supplementary angles. Kids, remember, to find the measure of a supplementary angle, we use the formula supplementary angle is equal to 180 degrees minus the given angle. Now, let's solve an example. Find the measure of a supplementary angle P if the given angle is 45 degrees. Here, we use the formula supplementary angle is equal to 180 degrees minus the given angle. 180 degrees minus 45 degrees is equal to 135 degrees. Now, let's study the figure to answer a few questions. 1. Name a pair of adjacent angles. Correct. Angle ADB and angle CDB. 2. Name a pair of vertically opposite angles. Well done. Angle ADE and angle CDI. 3. Find the measure of angle EDB. From the figure, we see that angle EDB and angle CDB form a pair of supplementary angles. Therefore, angle EDB is equal to 180 degrees minus 40 degrees, which is equal to 
140 degrees. 4. Find the measure of angle ADB. Here, angle ADB and angle CDB form a pair of complementary angles. Therefore, angle ADB is equal to 90 degrees minus 40 degrees which is equal to 50 degrees. Hey kids! Wasn't it fun learning about different types of angles?